Hey folks, it's Rob, and welcome to Hand of Fate. I've decided I'm going to play this for a while, so bear with me. <laughs> uh, I figure I'll do a boss per video. So, not to make it too big or imposing. Um, I've already done two bosses with the, with the Let's Try video, so... This is still my first playthrough. Just keep that in mind. Another round, and our game truly begins. So, I'm still doing story mode, of course. That's the whole point of this. We've already done Jack of Dust and Jack of Skulls. So, next up is Queen of Dust. Now, she has a curse. <clears throat> Money bags. In combat, the player's movement speed is reduced by how much gold they possess. And there'll be three rockfall challenges and three good fortune at cards added to the deck. Hmm. A bold woman, this one. She did not collapse when the Empire did. No, she took up arms, organized her people, and vowed that in a country where death had gathered, she would be the one dealing it. Well, guess she sounds empowered. I'm not going to use the recommended deck. I, again, I want to see new things, so... Let's see, we'll throw the sword out, we'll put Frostfang in. Let me see the mace, let's see. Damage 27, yeah, so I think I want to have the mace rather than the axe. 25. Yeah, so... Instead of axe, we'll throw a mace in. And let's see here. Throw the healing cap out. Angel's wing. We don't know what that does yet, so we'll throw that in. Explorer's helmet. I don't really know what that does. Well, actually, I do. Reveal stairs encountered upon ex ex entering a level and grants gold bonus for revealing every encounter on a level. That sounds fine, but uh, I want to know what the new things do. So we'll throw in the Helm of Reflection. Throw in this Consuming Shame. And the Scavenger's Cap. And I think that's everything new. Right. So. Just because I'm still not sure about this, and having heard the, video, the previous video, I'm pretty sure I need to do this. Because I can't rebalance it after, we're, after I've uh, completed the, the whole thing. Uh, it wasn't anything I could do about the previous video, and I am sorry about that. But I couldn't also re-record it and not have just simply blown all the first impressions out the window. As it was, I'm semi-familiar with this just because I actually was very interested in the game and followed it along through to through early access. Here when you return. Right, the encounters. Alright, we can throw the river out. No, I haven't taken, haven't taken this token yet. But Dead King's Hall I can throw out. Devil's Choice I can throw out. Maze of Traps I can throw out. Right, and we can put in... Helpful Priest. Treasure chest, uh, desert storm, crucible. Uh, but we actually have too much now, don't we? Oh no, I need two more. Okay, devil's wager, and eh. Let's go with, uh, Devil's Choice, again. And, okay. So, we have sufficient cards in both decks. Let's start the game. Now we play for the cop, the first of my symbols. That's the cup there. I 
I've added some cards to spice up the game. Of course you have. In addition to the pain and gain decks, there are now blessings and curses. Choose your steps carefully. Well, let's get moving. Oh, the maiden. Given how rarely one encounters the folk, you are fortunate indeed to meet Merith again. Or perhaps we are merely cycling around the wheel and dipping into the same memories time and time again. Well, what shall we get from her? Um... Do I want cash? Supplies? Or life? Let's ask for life. I've already asked for supplies. As you with, Merith mutters and waves her hand. A light shines from your skin. The dealer draws you one max health gain card. Five max a health. A little extra health, but it is only a momentary respite. Many enchanted weapons have powerful abilities that can turn the tide of battle, but only if the wielder remembers to use them. Farewell, mortal. Okay, let's go here. It's better than trudging along a muddy road. Certainly. You found a friendly trader willing to let you ride on his wagon. Okay. That's the exit. Ah. You know what? I'm going to turn back. I'm going to check out a little more of this area. I'm oh. starting to wonder if you're simply leaving this card in as a quick way to get your hands on a shield. <laughs> well, actually, <laughs> uh, I have read this one before, so I will uh, ask him what he needs. Get myself a shield. A strong there. left arm is as important as a strong right arm, after all. Now I could use, I'd have to use two food to get back if I go here, or I could just go straight on. I feel like I've done what I can with that one. Well, so let's go. A horse Hitching a ride. Is a fine companion. I'm sure you'll leave this one in time. You do not seem to have the temperament for friends, even in the animal kingdom. Wow, that was kind of cruel. Well, on we go. This game is still only beginning. New rules, new tools, new abilities. We have far to go as yet. Thank you. Helpful priest. Priests, gods, and eternal damnations. I have no trap with any of it. You meet a wandering priest who greets you in a friendly manner. Are you hungry? I can part with three of my meager supplies for only twelve gold. Well, I would be very happy to, but I don't have any cash. No? Well, best of luck to you, stranger. Farewell. Crap. Well, at least I can come back if I choose. Twisted Canyon again. Well, let's go for, go for it. All right. Where's the queen? Where's the queen? Keep your eye on the fair lady. Select your desire. Draw a weapon card. Frostfang. Lizardmen are especially susceptible to ice damage. Okay. Yes, I'll equip As that. As pleases you. towards our foe. So, shall I leave? Yes. What brings you to play the game? Ha. I know you will not tell me. Like all the rest, you are silent. That's not fair. I can't talk to you. You can't hear me talking to you. Your provisions are running low. Can you press on? A terrifying walk to get to the Queen. So many potential places for an assailant to get the upper hand. 
While journeying near the coast, you hear a rumble overhead. Falling rocks force you to take cover. Attempt to dodge, of course. So we got huge failure, 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 and success. Uh... Hey! You attempt to dodge the rocks. You dodge the rocks by ducking into a small cave. A few minutes later, you emerge and climb around the new rock wall. Hear a voice somewhere above you say, Did I hit him? Run up to attack the bandits, damn it. Alright. You're gonna get yours, bandits. Try to drop rocks on me, will ya? Weapon abilities on one. I have definitely hit the dude several times there. There is little speed. material gain to be made. And chains of rage. Chains for armor, as you will. Check my inventory, make sure this stuff's on. Yep, okay, there we go. Another rock Again, ball. the stones tumble upon you. All right, once again, where's the queen? Uh, that one. Yeah! <laughs> right, let's go get those jerks, too. I don't think I won't kill the crap out of you. What do you expect me to say? Congratulations. <laughs> no, we'll not equip that. We'll use the chains of rage. And no, we'll not equip that. But we'll have something to sell if we run into a merchant. If there's another rock fall, I'm going to be very annoyed. Goblins. Being stout and meek, goblins know they cannot use strength or fear to survive. They rely on more mischievous methods. They steal from you when you're asleep and escape through magical portals. Scavengers of the earth tell tales of the hidden vaults that these goblins hide their ill-gotten loot in. Their portals are made by dark magic, unkind to all but themselves. Cool. A challenge for you, and a token if you succeed. Okay. One night, you awaken to find your belongings being rifled through by goblins. As soon as they notice you stirring, they run away with the piece of your equipment. They have also stolen some of your food and gold. Right. I 
kick their asses. So we got two of goblins. Looks like they stole Frostfang for one thing. Okay. And here. stuff. Where's your magic portal now, huh? Where's your magic portal now? Alright. With the goblin's threat dealt with, you continue on your way. This card's token is well now done. yours. Somehow I got food. Okay. It's better than trudging along a muddy road. Certainly. Yeah, I agree with that. Hitch a ride. You are close on her trail, and more confident than I had imagined. Perhaps she will play beyond this mark, and we will see your true metal. Well now. Choice. Though I admire his ilk, I live by very different rules. I'm here to test your might, so-called hero. Choose your foe. Well, two of skulls, two of skulls, or two of skulls. I choose two of skulls. Remember still have the mace on. Regardless, I will beat the crap out of them. No, we're using Frost Fang. Okay. draws you three gain cards. Excellent. You have passed my cutting test. <laughs> I'm sure you are grateful for that. Actually, that's just enough food to get through. through. Draw one equipment. Desperate measures. Prepare I love for desperate bad measures. Times. Thank you. Savor the good. Really? That. Is that what you're going to do? Damn right, that's a what little I'm gold do. to give you a taste for it. Small amount of cash. And another rock full. An accident or a trap. I wonder. Right. Here we go again, kids. I choose this one. Ah. One pain card. Lose five oh maximum dear. health. Just when you think it's over, a large rock bounces off your helm. Looking up, you spot bandits on the hill above you. Well, let's go. I'll kill these bandits, too. Take your turn, so I like that.
fling your opponent's challenges back in their faces. Fortitude's breath. A shield for the marathon, not the sprint. Every third encounter does not consume food. Press right mouse button to shield, bash a target, stunning it. Well, it's basically a shield, but it has an extra ability. So yes, we will equip that. Bandit Bandits, attack. eh? Make an enemy of one, and you've made an enemy of all. One King. can't help but admire their single-mindedness. King of Dust isn't happy about you killing his men. Well, I'm gonna kill more of them then. King of Dust can just run out of men eventually, I swear. <laughs> Treasure chest. What more iconic emblem of success could we imagine? While exploring a dungeon, you see a treasure chest at the end of the hall. The chest may hold great wealth, but the chamber may be trapped. While well, I will approach the chest. Ooh, 50 50. 50 50, 50 50. Where's it going to be nifty? I go here. The hall is silent as you move forward. You approach the treasure chest. We play for a token now. Treasure chest looks battered, but still intact. What treasure might it hold? I attempt to pry it open, of course. Hmm. Now I got three quarters chance. After a mighty heave, the lock gives way and the spoils are yours. Four game cards and the token. Excellent. Cash. More gold for you. And with Cash. it, more problems. Cash. And cash. Well, I'm considering I haven't really run into a merchant since the, 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 kind, the kindly priest. Hey, there we go. In a shabby grove off the beaten trail, you find a traveling merchant willing to trade with wandering merchants. Yes, let's do this now. Sell some of this gold that's weighing me down. Alright, what we got? A helm of reflection. Upon receiving a projectile, reflecting a projectile, this helm creates a small force explosion. It's like the only thing I can buy. They don't have anything else here. Well, I will buy it just so I can get money out of my pocket. A coarse defense, but a valuable one nonetheless. But I'm not going to equip it because I like the speed. And I will buy food to spend money. down doing this. But in the end, the bunny's not doing any good, is it? I'm sure you're grateful for that. There we go. Okay. And I would normally sell off junk, but there's no point. Moving on. Come on, queen. Yep. Noble causes turn to rotten enterprise. You may win this battle and send the queen to her rightful end. Yet, what have you gained in the process? 
This Desert Queen is more lethal in battle and harder to kill than a regular bandit. Her blades are sharp and she is frequently protected by a powerful crossbow. The Bandit Queen was taken by slavers as a child and raised in the desert. Over the years, she has bribed and murdered her way to her current position as second-in-command of the Desert Thieves, proving herself capable of ruthless cunning. Well... Again, a token is at stake. I should hope so. Two tokens. All right. All right, what monster will she get? I've used up a lot of her monsters. Ah, see? Two dust. Ha-ha. <laughs> I'm gonna beat the crap out of your powerful crossbow, too. exactly what I'm doing with that. Block that crap. Ah, <laughs> right. Inevitable, I suppose. So often, those who beat plowshare to sword die by the grim instruments of their industry. Still, she fought well and bravely, which is all I expect from my pawns and players. Yep, yeah, did manage to beat me fairly well, too. So, upgrades with the goblet. We get stronger counterattacks. Your counterattacks will do more damage. Increase stun. Your stunning attacks now render enemies dazed for longer new starting gear. Your starting equipment has been upgraded. Bandit strength increased. Bandits have had their strength increased. Skeleton strength increased. And skeletons have had their strength increased. And bandit throwing knives. Bandits now have throwing weapons. Alright. You have earned the first of the symbols of my power and passed the first gate. There is no turning back now. Previously, I was merciful, but now I cannot be. It is begun. I crafted each of these cards over the course of years. You have taken them from me in mere moments. For encountering the goblins, I get... Time heals. And another goblins card. Okay. Plundering a locked treasure chest, I get. Fool's gold. For defeating my bandit queen, you receive these new cards. Jack of Plague. Ember Town Hero. Devil's Carnival. Asleep in the Forest. And again, for being the queen of dust, I get... Fleet Cuffs. Armor of Cold, and Huge Hammer. Come. Play again. And I will, next time, for my next boss in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this, this series. And if you do, a like or subscribe, uh, comment. You know, all that stuff is helpful. Share, whatever. It's YouTube. You know how this stuff works. This is the only time I'm going to ask you in this series. But, you know, <clears throat> I think, I, I assume that you understood what YouTube is about. So, yeah, this is the only time I'm going to ask. That having been said, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great day, folks.
Goodbye.